questions. That way you didn't have to hear me talk all night. Um, <laughs> so you're gonna get to hear some new people actually who are totally getting out of their comfort zone and sharing some stories and tips and advice and all the good things. So I'm pretty pumped about that. Oh, good, you're recording, all right. Okay, perfect. So I'm first gonna get into just the update real quick about things going on. Um, obviously, you guys know Double Triple Fast Starts. Push for those guys. It's such a big difference. Um, your whole business can change in just one day. So um, make sure that you have that mindset that you're going to be getting it. You gotta say it, believe it, and speak it. Um, so definitely push for that. Don't forget the $25 in credits that's going on right now for all new accounts. Guys, the company's literally doing a promo for you. Um, so utilize it. Um, get those new people. Uh, always create that urgency. That is one thing. Um, you know, when you're doing your follow-ups and stuff, that one person might be like, oh, $25 off today, and they might order. Um, just that little nudge to get them to finally place that order. So make sure you're utilizing that. Make sure you're talking about that. Um, Summer Love. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> she always brings the fire. So I wanted to have her on here. Um, and then we're going to bring on some newer people that you haven't actually heard from at all. Um, so I'm very, very pumped that, um, cause that's the biggest thing guys, you know, it's scary doing these sometimes. And when you get out of your comfort zone, that's when you grow. So I'm pretty excited about this. Um, but I'm going to let summer love do some talking and, and then we'll get into it. Hi, you guys. Um, my throat's a little sore cause I almost died today. If you just watch my live, I choked on, on a Dorito. So don't worry, I didn't go to waste though, I still ate it. <clears throat> so, look at Shannon. <laughs> so, I wanted to talk to you guys today about um, seasons. I know a lot of times we hear um, seasons uh, in business where, you know, everybody's waiting for January and January's going to come and there's going to be this big boom. And right now is um, a season that we're in where uh, it's a slower season and things start to slow down, but I want to sort of break it down into us and our mindset and us thinking about season as opposed to like thinking it, you know, it's slower and it's faster and, and work is better and it's this and it's that. I want us to just slowly, I want to get into your minds for a second and break it down in a way where we can um, just really grow in every single season that we're in, right? So <clears throat> obviously we're in winter right now, right? winter it's cold there's snow where i'm at um there's no sun it's like kind of like where we're at in business is it's like we are just like uh is there anyone that's going to order is there anyone that's going to join my team i feel like it's slow and, and things start to slow down in winter just as a season right everybody starts to stay home a little bit more you put on a fire if you have a fireplace it's just a lot colder and i think a lot of times um, there isn't as much sun. So we start to get in these modes where we just like want to be home. We don't want to talk to people. We don't want to sort of interact with anybody. Or there's, there's people that, you know, you are missing that because it's cold and we're kind of like taking shelter, right? Then there's fall. When you jump into fall, obviously the leaves start to change colors. The, um, the weather starts to change a little bit. We, I know a lot of people love fall, but <clears throat> I, I, for one, it's, it's a reminder that winter is coming. Um, it starts to get cooler outside. Uh, we go back to daylight savings time, so we get less sun. And then we have summertime, where everyone waits for, uh, but they complain that it's too hot. <laughs> it's so, we've been waiting for this all year round, right? We love summer. And then it's like, oh my God, it's so hot outside. That's all you'll see all over your Facebook. It's so hot and I wish I can do this and I wish I can do that. And if you think about like, you know, our, our grass sometimes get, gets burnt because we're like praying for rain, right? So I think that's where the saying, I hope springs eternal comes in because since we walked through those three seasons, I want to take your mind to spring and I want you guys to always have your mindset into spring because what comes with spring 
we get all of those different seasons kind of wrapped into one, right? So that's how we need to think of like our business. So, so right now I want us to not think of like, we're in the slow season or I can't wait till January comes. I want your mindset to always be in spring because in spring, our flowers start to bloom, but our flowers only start to bloom when we get that rain, when we're going to get the colder weather, but then another day it's going to be warm outside. We are going to have a lot of rain, but then the next day there'll be a lot of sunshine. So if you relate that to where, where you're at in business and always relate that to where you're at and where you're going right now, you'll never look at it as a slow season. If it's, if we're always in spring, you're gonna know that there's gonna be rainy days, right? But then two days later, guess what? Your flowers are gonna sprout because it's sunny outside. Then there's gonna be those days where it's like oddly hot outside. And those are those days that you need to just chill, take a breath, cool down, relax, maybe um, talk to some people, go live, get into some inboxes, check in and see how people are doing. Then there's just going to be those seasons where it's colder outside in the spring because we get so many like different elements when it's spring. And those are those times that you need to put that jacket on. And that jacket is going to be when you need to go and love on your team. We need to check in with them, check temperature. Um, you should always know the condition of your flock or else really leading, right? Check in with them, see how they're doing. What is it that they need? Check the temperature because you never know what we're getting with spring. And I love the fact that we can go outside any day in spring and you just never know what you're going to get. And that's kind of like showing up to our social media every day. That's kind of like showing up to our business every day. We don't know what we're going to get. Sometimes we're promised rain, like in, in, in the news and it's sunny outside. So that's like that customer that said they weren't going to order. And then all of a sudden there's that surprise that they, that, you know, Hey, we're here that we're, that we're going to order and they get like a freaking couples pack or something. Right. And then there are those times that they say, oh my gosh, it's going to be sunny and it's raining. And that's when you think, oh man, I'm going to do the damn thing today. I woke up, I did my gratitude, I'm ready. And then you, it's like crickets, right? So there's not always going to be those perfect days. But if we're always thinking of the mindset of spring and what's to come and be grateful that spring, we wish that, you know, spring was eternal and be grateful for all those different elements in that season then you're never going to feel stuck. You will never feel like, I don't know what's coming or I don't know what I'm going to do because you're always going to be prepared. You're always going to have that jacket in your backseat. You're always going to be carrying that umbrella. You're always going to be ready for when it's sun, sunny outside. You're always going to be ready for when it's cooler. You're always going to be ready for when it starts to freeze a little bit because out here, we never know. It starts to freeze a little bit and our you think that your plants are sprouting and then all of a sudden there's frost on them. Like we just never know. So if you're always in that preparation mode of, okay, I'm ready. Let me put my jacket on. That jacket means that I need to go in and love on my team. Let me go do that today. All right. It's raining outside. So that means I need to pour into all my social media. Let me be still for a second. Okay. It's hot outside. That means I need to go out more. I need to go out and meet people more. I need to go out and build my business outside of here. Okay, my plants are now blooming. Now what do I need to do? Water them, water them, water them. So if we're always constantly in that mindset of this is spring, this is spring, this is spring, then you'll never, ever, ever feel like, I don't know what to do. I'm stuck. I don't, you know, obviously that feeling is going to come up. But if you constantly remind yourself like, hell no, this is spring. I don't know what's going to come tomorrow, but today it's cooler outside. Today it's a little bit darker. So I know what I need to do today you'll always succeed and you'll always continue to go forward within your business. And it's, it's going to be hard. It's going to take some practice. Um, but if you wake up with an attitude of gratitude every single day, then you'll be completely just unstoppable. And it, it takes practice. It takes you saying, okay, today is the day. Today is the day. Today is just reminding yourself constantly. I have a screensaver set on my phone. And if you guys don't believe me, I don't know, you know because I have messages but in the back of there it just says think good thoughts because I have to constantly remind myself think good thoughts think good thoughts it's not a bad day it's just a bad moment you choose to make it a bad day choose wisely choose otherwise choose spring and I, I promise you your flowers are always going to blossom even in the rainy days even on the cold days even on the days when you need that jacket even on the day where there was promised sun and there's no sun you're always 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 going to blossom 
and I will send it over to Kaylee. Ashley, who's going next? So um, I love that. And, you know, here in New York, weather's bipolar all the time. One minute it's sunny and the next minute I wake up and there's three feet of snow here today. So, you know, that's when you're prepared for all the different seasons and you're constantly in the mindset of, you know, all of that, you're going to be able to, um, number one, be ready for anything, like she said. So I love that analogy. Um, next, I'm going to bring on Ashley. Every time she talks, she like fuels my soul. Um, and the reason I'm having her speak is because two of her girls um, actually spoke up to be guests on this. And I was like, you need to talk now um, to introduce them and stuff. But I am so excited because, you know, one thing that is so, so important is creating that layered leadership. And she is going to also get into how she's never really had that. She's always, um, you know, babied people coming in. And granted, yes, you want to like make sure that they know you're there. And, you know, when someone starts new, um, sometimes they're really needy, right? They're, you get all those questions. Like you have to, it's like a, it's like a baby. You've got to, you know, nurture it and make sure they know what's going on, where everything's at. Um, and, you know, one thing that Ashley's so good at is that. And finally, I think she realized that balance between nurturing and helping these new people get started and then also letting them grow on their own and knowing hey like this is my own business um you know i i'm not going to um you know yes i'm going to be there but i'm gonna give them that chance to grow too so um i know personally for me when i sign somebody up um actually it's a funny story uh Brittany o'neill actually said to me i remember this because i was at my son's football game and she said to me you know she hit her rank and I remember this conversation and she was like, yeah, you know, um, something about how after so long, after I got the hang of things, like, it's almost like, um, you forgot about me or not forgot about me, but like, I wasn't there to help as much. And I said, yeah, I do that on purpose because I want to see who's going to step their game up. I am somebody who, um, you know, I try to see who those leaders, who's going to turn into those leaders and um, who's going to kind of like take the reins themselves. And um, I said, it worked, didn't it? And so I remember that so distinctly. And so I'm going to bring on Ash and she's going to um, speak some life and then uh, bring on her two girls. Hey, everybody. Okay, first of all, I hope you guys are taking all of the things. I hope you are soaking all of this in because tonight is just fire, okay? Um, these girls, I mean, Summer loves a powerhouse. Every time she speaks, I get goosebumps. Everything that she says is so spot on and resonates. And I have to take that and I have to use that, right? And the ladies I'm going to bring on tonight are the perfect example. They taught me just as much as I have taught them. Um, and they taught me a lot of lessons about leadership. When I came into this, how many of you have felt that you are your own 4K or your own volume? You feel like you're doing this on your own, that you don't have a team yet or your team's quiet. Guys, I've went through that. I've been there. I've done that. And I've had that feeling like, you know, am I not a good leader? Uh, do I not have what it takes? Are people not attracted to me? Um, do they not believe in me? And I've had all those questions and all those doubts. And the bottom line is, guys, you have this inside of you. It, it, it takes, when you come into this, not everyone is natural at, at this. And, you know, I've been a leader in a lot of different areas of my life as, as a parent. Um, I've been a leader in a lot of different groups outside of this. I've been a leader at, you know, my career. Um, but this is different. This is more personal. We come into this tribe and it's a lot more personal. And I have learned so much. And the first person, um, I'm going to get to her in just a couple minutes. And don't mind her Zoom name. She is on her son's Zoom. He was doing schoolwork today. So her name is not Zach. Her name is Sarah, just so you guys know. Um, but she taught me a lot. Um, she made me so much the best version of myself because when she came in, she's a perfect example of not knowing your next 12K, not knowing your next 40K. You guys, she came into my life on accident. When I came into this business, I didn't have a network. So I was scrambling, you know, who, who can I, who do I know that knows people? Because it's not about who you know, it's about who you know that knows people. It's about growing your network. And when you're growing your network the right way, 
um, and you're using attraction marketing and, and you're being yourself and you're being authentic, you're going to draw your next rock stars to you. And she's the perfect example. So when I came in, I had 200 friends on Facebook. I didn't talk to any of them. So I got to work, right? I started adding friends every single day. I continue now that I'm maxed out. I continue. I go through, I get rid of people that maybe don't follow my values or maybe they're just not ready or maybe they're just not my kind of people. Um, and I add new people. So one of the first places I started was my husband's network. My husband grew up in a completely different town. He knows a lot of people. I started going through his friends list. I started adding people. Sniper. Um, sniper. Yes, sniper. Um, he calls me sniper. You guys, I get focused on something and I don't, I don't give it up. I don't give it up because I know I'm worth it. You guys have to get to a point where you realize you are worth this. It's not just you know, a little bit of extra money on the side. It's not just a little bit of gas in your tank. It is literally impacting and changing lives. You have the ability to take something. Um, I was just talking to one of my new promoters today. Well, he's not mine. He's one of Sarah's promoters, promoters. And he, what, we were having a discussion and he was asking about making an opportunity post. And I said, it is not about what you have accomplished. It's about what you are capable of accomplishing. It's about sharing what this has to offer what this has the ability to do for you and for other people. Um, and so I started building relationships. You guys, if you aren't adding friends every single day right now, you're doing yourself a disservice. It is time to get to work. Get real with yourself and say, okay, what am I missing? Um, because I promise you there are people that are spending money, a lot of money right now. Online shopping is huge. And I'm not saying it's your season. I'm not saying that you know every month is gonna be your month. But if you aren't growing your network consistently, this is where I ran into a wall. I came in and I came in hot and I was doing all the things and I grew and then I lost everything because I wasn't ready to be a leader. I didn't have that balance between helping my team, loving on my team and working my business. Um, I got overwhelmed. I got consumed with and obsessed with what my promoters were doing versus what I was doing. And so I ran out of my warm market and I fell off a cliff. You guys have to constantly, eventually your warm market gets a little cold. You have to have your waters in that cool, your feet in the cool waters a ways off so you can start bringing those people into your warm market. It's a constant, it's a constant flow. You can't stop looking over here or it'll catch up to you. So anyways, I, I, she came into my life and I'll let her tell her story. But here's the thing, when she came in and she hit that promoter button, guys, she did it for a double, triple fast start. I was offering a heck of a deal. And she came in an exact moment, just like this. I was offering an amazing deal to get my triple fast starts. And she said, okay, girl, I'm like, Thrive, and I will, uh, I will grab that deal from you, but I'm not promoting, just so you know. And she was so clear about it. She's like, this is, this is your thing. This is not my thing. I just want to feel good. I want to get some free product. Like, I'm down for that. I'm not down for that. And um, this is why it's so important to love people where they're at. You guys can't get so obsessed with your goals that you forget about the goals of the people you have with you. Everyone with you has a purpose in your journey. She didn't realize her potential yet. She didn't realize what she was capable of yet. And I loved her where she was at. And now she came in and did big things and she'll tell you that, but this is the perfect example because I just continued to create that vision for her. I didn't push her. I didn't make her do things she was uncomfortable doing. I just kept telling her like, girlfriend, you want some extra money? I'm here for you. Like, hey, you're loving the product so much. You've got some friends thriving. Why not make some money too? I kept putting that in front of her. And then when she got the vision, guys, her goals weren't 200K. Her goals weren't walking across the stage. At that point, her goals were, I could use an extra 50 bucks, right? So that became my goal not for her to become a 40K or a 200K, it was let's help her make an extra 50 bucks. As that evolved, she started seeing the vision. You guys know that feeling, you've had that feeling where all of a sudden it smacks you upside the head and you go, wait a minute, I am capable of this. This is something I can do. And she has done some big things. So Sarah, girlfriend, why don't you tell everybody your story and just a couple tips you have. Hey guys. Um, I usually am on these zooms, but my camera's usually off and I turned it on and we were on here and I realized my name said Zach and I thought, great, this is how the zoom's going to go. 
Um, but I'm excited to be on here and share my story. A lot of people probably know me or know of me through Ashley, um, but I never really show my face. I'm always in the background, just minding my own business. Um, but I started with this company uh, about a year and a half ago. And like Ashley said, I was very skeptical. Like everybody else on here was probably skeptical. I started on a mini and I reached out, got it in my hands, got my month supply, started thriving. I was feeling really good, loving the products. And she's right. I literally got a upgrade pack because of a deal. And I literally told her like, I'm doing this to save money. I don't ever want to be without it. Um, but do not pressure me or don't, don't talk to me about promoting. Like I'm not that person. I did have 200, like 200 friends on Facebook, maybe even less. Um, if you go back on my Facebook post, it was probably sharing everybody else's business and not mine. I was very um, shut out and quiet and didn't, I was always afraid of what people would think. Like if I post this, am I gonna be judged? Does that picture look good enough? Am I good enough? Am I worthy? Um, and it took me a while and I would reach out to Ashley all the time. And she's like, do your self development, do your I am's. I'm like, what are you talking about? What are I am's? Completely living under a rock, you guys. And Thrive literally changed my life. And I started with the upgrade pack, like I said. And my first goal was just to get thriving free. As long as I could get my product free, that was already a goal. And that's all I cared about. And then you get a paycheck and it kind of changes everything. I did not hit any bonuses. I am not embarrassed to admit that I've been in here for almost two years and I have yet to hit a bonus. I've hit a rank. Um, I did reach 4K just a month shy of one year. Um, but the only thing I can really say is stay consistent, stay focused. On the days you don't feel like doing something or days you don't feel like posting, um, I literally would go to Pinterest, type in what I was feeling find a quote and put a hand raise emoji above it and let the quote, the quote speak. Um, there were days that it's very hard and I wanted to shut out and I reach out to everybody. And the thing is, is I'm not afraid to ask questions. I'm not afraid to reach out. I would reach out to Ashley. If Ashley didn't answer, I reached out to Kaylee. Kaylee didn't answer, I went to Shannon. Whoever I knew closer, I would reach out to them um, because you have to, you have to lean out um, when you have nowhere else to go. and literally I had life happening and my half my city you guys was burning down um and I reached out to Ashley and Shannon I wasn't expected to, I wasn't expected to talk about that um but instead of quitting I persevered and pushed through. And instead of worrying about what was happening outside, I kind of just stayed in, put my blinders on, and just kept focus. Um, when things hit close to home, it's so much different. Um, COVID happened, and that literally was my breaking point. I had nowhere to go. I had work, but work shut down. I wasn't getting money. Um, unemployment is a joke, as anybody knows. Um, but I really just like focused on my business and did everything I could and just ran harder than I ever ran. Um, bottom line is just don't give up. Like if it's, it's not your time, it's not your time. There's like um, Summer Love was saying, there's seasons and planting season. You might be in planting season for a while, but you're gonna harvest sooner than later. You might get a dud, you might get whatever, but just keep going. It's not about how much you make. It's about the impact you're making on people's lives. Um, I know half these people on the Zoom probably already know that, um, but that's just all I can say is that's what I was doing is just putting on my blinders and staying focused, um, entering challenges and just pushing as much as I could to stay focused and busy. Sarah, oh my gosh, girlfriend, I can't even tell you how much I love you how grateful i am for you um it's so cool because you guys my husband has known her for 20 years okay probably 25 years i don't know a long time and um things come full circle you guys i don't know if you you watched any of the news but kenosha was literally burning to the ground um and she was still changing lives and not only did she achieve 
4K right before her year anniversary, which was so special, but she didn't stop. She kept pushing. Uh, she broke 8K. She broke 8K going into the winter months <laughs> because she never gave up on herself. And um, the coolest thing is, is every time I talk to her, well, I talk to her every day, let's be honest, but every time I talk to her, there's growth every single time. Um, and now she lifts me just as much as I lift her. And she is very direct with what she wants and what she needs. You guys don't be afraid to ask for what you need. Um, if you're upline, I don't, you know, I don't have a direct upline. If you're direct upline um, or whoever enrolled you, um, is it here or isn't working or whatever the case is, don't be afraid to speak what you need to be successful. And Sarah is not afraid to do that. She's not afraid to reach out to me and say, okay, I need one of your speeches. Okay, I need help with this post. Okay, I need you to get in the freeway. She is very vocal about what she needs for success and she makes me better for it. And you want to talk about someone facing fears, you guys, seriously give her love because not only is this her first major Zoom? And not only did she bear her soul, but she is literally building a team. She has multiple layers now in her team and she leads with integrity and passion and love. And she gives so much of herself into this while working, while being a mom. It's, it's insane. And I'm so dang proud of you. And tonight you impacted so many people and I hope you know how incredible you are. So the next person that's going to come on is Michaela. Oh, if I could stop crying. This is Michaela. Um, if you guys have not seen her um, or heard from her yet, you're in for a treat. Um, when I met Michaela, um, again, this she came into my life from, we lived in the same community. Um, she frequented um, the store I was working at and um, her mom started thriving with me first. Her mom started thriving with me first and she'll tell you her story but you guys when i met her not only was she a mom she was a farmer she was a wifey um she was doing all the things you want to see somebody that has a work ethic this is her um and this is another example of why you guys don't give up on people okay don't give up on people ever um she came into my life and she lit a fire under me and she did big things and i mean i'm telling you she must have been within a thousand dollars of 12k probably like 500 dollars of 12k and she fell off the face of the earth she disappeared like that girl went into witness protection program and there was no reaching her she was gone she just was just gone and she needed to do things in her life and and i don't want to tell her whole story but then she came back and she came back changed. She came back different. Um, and the thing is, you have to know that when you attract people to this and it comes into your life, how many of you believe that this came into your life on purpose? Like it came to you at just the right moment. Because um, I feel like with Thrive, it's got this crazy ability that it comes across people's paths right when they need it the most. And they don't even know it at the time, but it's like, it's, it's almost like this crazy fate thing. And that was Michaela to me. Um, she came into my life right when I needed it. She came back into my life right when I needed it more. And there is not a doubt in my mind that she and Sarah will be walking across that stage. I'm telling you right now, I can see what they're wearing. I can see how their hair is. I can see the smiles on their face. I can see their entire tribe in the crowd cheering them on. There's not a doubt in my mind that that's what's gonna happen. And it's because she is relentless in her pursuit. Um, it doesn't matter how many haters she has. And what I really, really love about Michaela is that she is creative. She will find ways to make connections. And I hope you guys take notes on this when she talks about how she builds her network. Because you want to you wanna see someone who is constantly, how many of you have been afraid? Afraid to talk to somebody about it, afraid to bring it up. This girl is terrified and she does it every single time anyways. She does all the things scared. She is so coachable. You tell her, um, you know, this is how you do something. She will just get up and do it. And she will keep doing it until she gets it right. And she comes up with the most creative ways to bring people to her. And she has some fire tips for you. Um, so you guys love on my girl, Michaela. Michaela, hop on here and tell your story. 
Oh my goodness, how do I follow up with all of this? <laughs> oh, so like Ashley said, um, Thrive came into my life when I did it the most. Um, my mom introduced me to it. I was running a dairy operation on my own. Um, I was crabby. I was not, people did not want to be around me because I was not a pleasant person to be around. Um, and like she said, it came into my life when I needed it the most. And, you know, within 30 days, I hit the promoter button because I knew what I had my hands on. And coming into this, I guess I really didn't know what to expect. Um, I wanted free product and, you know, I seen dollar signs, okay? Um, I did not hit my VIP 800. I did not hit my VIP 1600, but I made my 4K. I think it was like on close to the last day of my 30 days. Um, and I hit it. And, you know, I celebrated so hard. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm doing such big things. Um, but then when you get to that place, um, to be honest, like Ashley said, I went into witness protection. Um, but looking back at it now, you guys, I got comfortable. I got complacent. I had um, one promoter under me and she was bringing in volume. So I'm like, well, this is a piece of cake. You know, it's going to grow itself. I got complacent and I went into witness protection and my, my business took a hit. Okay. Um, I was a minute away from 12 K. Um, and I, I, fell off for, I want to say, was it like six months? Um, and I came back, but I was like a prairie dog. I was like here, then I wasn't here, then I was here, then I wasn't here. Um, and it wasn't until this October. And, you know, I'm a very tough love person. I'm a cut and dry. You got to tell me the way it is. Um, and I sat down with myself and it's like, Kayla, what are you doing? You either have to jump in with both feet or you have to stop. Like what, what are you doing here? It's like a roller coaster. Um, so I got, I called myself out of my crap and I'm like, you know what? I deserve more. My family deserves more. I have to do this, um, to get where I want to go. Oh my gosh. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> um, so I did it and I put my nose down. Um, for the first time I got a vision board, um, and it's above my desk. So I look at it every single day. Oh, Oh my God, I was not expecting this. <sighs> um, and I just, I got to work. And um, I guess my lesson out of that was never get comfortable, you guys. Never get complacent. Um, you, you have to keep doing all the things. You have to get comfortable being uncomfortable because that is the only way you're going to get to where you want to go. Um, and, you know, Summer Love talked about seasons, and I'm a huge believer in that. Um, and I believe you set your own pace. You need to decide right now, are you going to walk with the walkers or are you going to run with the runners? Um, because the only way you're going to get to where you want to go is if you surround yourself with people who are going to lock arms and run with you. Um, and, you know, Ashley always tells me, if you're the smartest person in the room, find a new room. If you're the hardest working person in the room, you better find a new room. Because the only way you're going to level up your game every single day is if you are surrounded by people who make you want to level up every single day. Um, and, you know, Sarah said, what are, what are I am's? What is gratitude? And you guys, to be honest, I look back at my journal and I, I never really started doing gratitude and digging in and getting to know myself and growing until October of this year. Um, now every morning I write out a full page of I am's. I am digging into podcasts. I am really getting to know myself and grow myself. You have to fall in love with who you are 100%. You have to fill your cup every single day so that you can pour that on to other people um, in your team. Um, and another thing I wanted to touch on, um, I love Courtney Glaser. If you guys don't follow her, she is like a huge inspiration to me. Um, but she was on a podcast and she said something that really resonated with me. Um, and I, I was that person when I started. I would copy successful people. I would copy their posts because they were winning. So what they were doing was working. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to copy and paste this post on my page. But that wasn't me. Um, and she said, you know, don't copy successful people, copy their habits because it was their habits that got them to where they were. You know, habits create success. So don't be anything but yourself um, because you know, 
you're going to attract what you're putting out there. And at the end of the day, if you're copying and pasting somebody else's stuff, you're not going to get the right following. You're not going to attract the right people. Um, and, you know, I really increased my following and, um, you know, my relationships by being who I was, by bringing a sense of value to people. I love helping people. I love inspiring people. Um, and I have people, more people in my inbox now than ever, because I bring a sense of value to them. If people are having a bad day, um, I, I share what's going on in my life. I'm not a thrive robot, you guys. People want to know who you are. They want to be inspired by you. They want to get to know you for you, not that you sell this product. Um, and it's just, you've really just got to get to know yourself, you guys. You have to gain that confidence. And one of Ashley's sayings is, if you don't have the confidence, borrow somebody else's until you do. Um, because I promise you one day, one day you'll get there. One day it will come. Um, and like Sarah said, don't give up. Do not give up. There's going to be hard days. There's going to be bad days. There's going to be days where you don't want to show up, but quitting is not going to get you any closer to where you want to be to that vision. Um, so just keep going. Your, your why needs to be so strong that you look at it and you buckle down and you say, now I know why I started this. I started this for my family, for my kids, um, or whatever your why is. Um, but that's, that's kind of my tips. And before I let you off the hook, can you, you are very, very good at getting conversations started with people. How do you do that? What are some things people can do to, to get new people in their inbox without being a thrive robot? Cause you're so good at it. Um, I recently, I really started edifying people. I really started loving on people. Um, and I, when the, the dream team did that, um, what was it? The 20, 20, whatever day challenge. And you go through your alphabet and your friends list. Um, I do that on repeat. I, it wasn't just for that challenge. Now I do it on repeat and I go to people's pages. Um, and I'm, I'm loving on their stuff. I'm being authentic. I'm, you know, if they have cute kids, I'm going to tell them they have cute kids, whether they think I'm weird or not. You're gonna know you have cute kids. I'm going to re, you know, react on their posts. I don't just like them. There's a react button for a reason. Don't just use the like. Love on their stuff. Um, and you know, it is about seasons because I have been hardcore consistent for like 90 days now, and I am reaping the benefits right now. Um, so seasons are a thing, and people I've never even talked to before. I have random people in my inbox. Um, you're so inspiring. You made my day. Um, I make silly videos, you guys. I like having fun. I like making people laugh. I like laughing with people. Be your true self and you will attract those people. Like, I guess it's hard for me to explain, but definitely going through my friends list and re reacting so they see my stuff more um, has really, really helped me. You are so phenomenal, and I'm so dang proud of you for facing such a massive fear. I can't even talk. My cheeks hurt from smiling right now. Like, I could not be any prouder of you two incredible women. Like, you changed my life every single day. I will never go a day without talking to you, uh, without you inspiring me. <clears throat> and I want to tell you guys a couple of things you can specifically do that they do, okay? Every single day, I know for a fact both of them do their personal development. Both of them stay consistent. You will not find a day that they don't post. It doesn't matter when their world is crashing down. I mean, Michaela had dealt with a ton of COVID stuff in her family. Um, Sarah had dealt with her entire city going up in flames. It didn't matter every single day they were consistent. Of course, some days they're going to do more than other days. We have lives, we have kids, we have families but there is not a day that they don't show up. You guys have to. She talks about 90 days of hardcore staying consistent. That's exactly what they do every day, every day. They check in with their people every day. They post in their stories and on their wall every day. They are making polls all the time. Michaela does incredible giveaways. Um, she comes up with these really cool 
wheels of whatever and she does fun giveaways for her people she just did a co a, a first giveaway for customers um she's always trying to think of okay what can i get on a really good deal that's super affordable for me and that people will love and i can use it as an incentive and it's not always like sales related sometimes it's fun things she does for people and what it does is it draws people to her um both of them use a variety of posts they market to different people sometimes it is i'm going to talk about straight up what uh how many of you could use 1300 before christmas straight up straight up business post right and then the next day they're going to talk about i am so grateful to have the opportunity to um you know michaela just made a post recently about all the groceries that she bought using the lavelle paycheck in her card it's marketing to different people every single day and they stay consistent with that and those are some things they are always adding to their network adding friends and they come up with fun ways sarah messaged me the other day she's like okay so i just added 10 people with this name you know a variation of this name and i just added you know 10 people from my groups they are constantly looking for new ways to branch out um they're very very careful about not adding thrivers potentials they add people that are not related to anyone around them they add people with no mutual friends or only mutual friends in their family and they're not afraid to talk about it um both of them have had a a, a lot of a variety of haters throughout their journey both of them have had people tell them you're not going to make this this is you're not going to do it this is silly you're not going to be successful um both of them have been knocked down more times than i can count but the difference is they chose to get back up. They never, they never gave up on them themselves. And what I admire most is when they have that day where they doubt themselves, they reach out. They reach out and they don't reach down. You guys, the way they love on their team, it is so important. Um, whether you have one person on your team, no one yet, or a hundred, caring more about them as a person than a dollar sign, is the most important thing. My team knows that they are not a dollar sign to me, ever. Um, you know, whether they have $10 in volume or $12,000 in volume, I love them for them. It has nothing to do with this business. And I have told them both hundreds of times over, you could walk away from this business tomorrow and you're still not getting rid of me. You are mine now. Um, you have changed my life. You have impacted me. We are together now. This is it. You have got to build true relationships with your team, with your potentials, with your customers. You guys, if you want customer retention to get you through this, you know, holiday season and the next holiday season and the one after that and the next thing that happens in the world, you have to love. And you don't have to be a mush like I am, but you have to love in your way and it has to be real. Um, you know, they both are them 100% of the time. They don't act different around different people. They don't pretend to be something they're not. You guys, you have to show the you that's sitting on the couch with messy hair and your kids destroying your house. You have to show the you that's overwhelmed after having a hard day. You have to show the you that's dressed up and feeling cute and ready to go out on a date with your boyfriend. Like you have to show all of your sides because the whole goal is that when people finally message you and they're ready, they feel like they already know you. They feel like you guys have been friends forever. Um, you know, I tell them all the time, like it is taking little tiny pieces of you and it's sprinkling it out there. And, and your audience is gonna keep picking up those pieces and they're gonna create their version of you. And you get to dictate what version that is. Is that gonna be some fake phony picture that's a replica of someone else? Or is that going to be the beautiful, wonderfully broken, perfect you? And the thing that I love about this business the most is neither one of them would be in my life without this. Neither one. Um, I would not be the leader I am or the person that I am or the wife that I am or the mother that I am without them in my life. And Thrive brought them into my life for a reason. And you guys have to know that when you're out there in the world, you are impacting. Sorry. You are a break in the chaos. The world has ridiculous amounts of pain and ugly and hurt and 
the world has all kinds of political things and COVID things and all the things. You get to choose what light you're shining in this world. You get to wake up every morning and say, okay, all right, am I going to make a difference today? You can be that one shining light in someone's day. You can be the only positive thing that they see from the time they open their eyes to the time they go to bed. You have the ability to do that. And I think one of the most important things to remember is, you guys, people are watching. They are. Every single person that signs up with me, it's always the same thing. I've been watching you for a year. I've been watching you for six months. Now, if I decided today was my last day and I was just not going to post for a week because I was overwhelmed and I didn't feel like it, they're going to lose faith in that. They're going to lose faith in that. Um, they might find somebody else that they're attracted to now and that they're going to message. You guys have to realize that you have so much to share. Michaela is now a stay-at-home mom for the most part. She helps out with her family business here and there, but she's a stay-at-home mom now. Do you, don't you ever think that she's ever felt like, wow, I have nothing to post about. Like I literally live at home with my babies, wiping butts and like noses and I don't do anything like, you know, mom life isn't that cool and interesting. She finds the parts of herself that are her best parts and she shares them with the world. It doesn't have to be extravagant. You guys, reality TV is famous for a reason. People want to escape the reality they're in and they want to find something somewhere else. So that's what they do. They share their reality with the world. People will tune in. And the coolest thing about this is you don't have to cold message. You don't have to be that annoying person. You don't have to post only about Thrive. You get to be you. You get to be the best version of you. You get to share your journey. You get to tell people about your failures and how you overcome them. You get to share your, your family and your kids and you know your friends and all of these things you get to share with the world and you get to be somebody shining light. They don't want a perfect fake version. There is no fake it till you make it here. There is none of that. There is shine bright because you're going somewhere. People don't care about what your paycheck is. That is such a fear of ours. Like we tell ourselves, oh, I can't post about the opportunity because I'm not successful yet. Or I can't reach out to somebody because they're gonna you know, think I'm a joke. You guys realize that if I came into your house right now and asked you for all of your thrive, would you give it to me? No. You're not gonna give up your last DFT. You're not gonna give up your last capsules for sure. I know that for a fact. So if it's that important to you, how you feel, what do you think it can do for other people? You have no business not sharing it. You have such a bigger purpose to share with the world. You cannot sit there and hide in. And you can't tell yourself these lies like, oh, you know, nobody's interested. Nobody has money. You know, everybody's heard of it before. Everybody's always thriving. Guys, you know for a fact that is not true. When's the last time you went to Walmart? Was everybody thriving there? Everybody was rocking DFTs at McDonald's when you went to go get your kids dinner? I doubt it. This hasn't even touched a tiny percent of the world and it is our job to change those lives. The second you take that dollar sign away and you start caring about people is the second you're gonna have success. And the last thing I wanna say before Kaylee jumps back on is there is nothing about anyone on here that makes anyone any more worthy of this like there's nothing about me that makes me special and like that i'm going to be more successful than the next person or vice versa there's nothing i'm a regular person with regular demons with regular skeletons in my closet with regular regrets i have a crazy life where my kids drive me nuts sometimes and there are days i wake up and go oh i can't do this today mm -mm, girlfriend like <laughs> somebody better take my phone because <laughs> it ain't happening today and then i put myself in check because people depend on me and it's not just my team it's not just my followers my entire family depends on me when i look my kids in the eye and i tell them you can be anything you want to be you can do anything you want to do. And then I throw in the towel because I'm not feeling it. That's, that is hypocrite is what that is. I cannot honestly tell my babies they can achieve anything and count myself out. I guarantee you can sit on that stage and tell your story. I guarantee you can hold that 200K, that millionaire recipient award. I, I guarantee it. But you have to decide that you're not giving up on you. I mean, I, I, I can promise you, Sarah, 
probably wanted to quit a lot. I mean, she went an entire year, you guys, without having a team, an entire year without enrolling promoters, an entire year because she was not ready. And she did the work and she did not give up on herself. And she kept going even when she wanted to quit and she'd sign up for all the challenges and she'd finish all the challenges even when she wanted to quit. And then it happened. And then the universe said, you know what? Here you go. You've done the work now, you're ready. And that's the thing you guys, you could be two seconds away, you could be one conversation away from changing your life. You, you can't give up that easily. Your life is so short, it is time to make an impact now. So I hope you guys took some from that tonight and I hope you got notes and I, I hope you are inspired to go do that reach out and I hope you see how incredible these women are just for being them. They didn't have to come on here, you know, all decked out and, and at their absolute best and say the perfect words. They just had to come on here and share their beautiful selves. And that is the beauty of this business, you guys. There is nothing else in the world that you can do where you can wake up every single day, be you 110% and make a million dollars. You're just not going to find it. You're not going to find it. So I love you guys. I appreciate you. I appreciate you guys loving on my incredible ladies. And Kaylee, did you have anything else? Do you guys see how important, how important it is to plug in, to be inspired, to hear these stories? Guys, that was me, conference, bawling my eyes out at every single person's story. Your mess is going to one day be your message. I promise you that. All those hearts, like, guys, you're going to choose your hearts, right? Those hearts where your card's declining at checkout and you're taking stuff and adding stuff up because you don't know if your card's going to decline. Your heart where you're telling your kids no or you can't afford Christmas. Wow, we're one big emotional mess today. Don't mind us. <laughs> but do you see that passion when they talk? Do you see the passion and the in their voice, you hear that, like, I'm getting emotional just listening to Ashley talk about her team. That is amazing. Um, so, um, Summer Love, do you have anything that you want to plug into all this? I just want to remind you guys to be um, grounded and rooted. Um, you, you look at a tree and you see, you know, the leaves in, in the winter time, the leaves fall off and it looks like it's dead, but as soon as that summertime and that spring comes around, it, it flourishes again. And it's because that tree is rooted and grounded and planted and it can't be swayed any type of way because it's always going to bloom. And Lavelle is leveling up, you guys. This is where it's at. And if you're looking to the left or to the right or you're distracted by this going on over here or this going on over here, you're going to miss it. You're gonna miss it. So just make sure you're 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 rooted and you're planted and you're here till the wheels fall off because we are going places over here. You guys need to get excited about that. Don't um, worry about whatever season you're in right now because we are in spring. We're in spring. I want you guys to remind yourselves we are in spring and we are leveling the F up and this is where it's at. So remain uh rooted and planted and don't be swayed and don't be shaken by any of the seasons that come along with it and we love you guys so guys i love zooms like this i i know that um you know this new year if you go into it claiming it now knowing it's going to change who cares what happened this year this year was this year was hard for so many people Honestly, just, I know there's a Zoom board, or a Zoom board, there is a dream board Zoom. Get your dreams, get your roadmap, figure out what the heck you want, why you want it. You already heard that these ladies, when they started, didn't even know, they didn't even want to promote right away, right? They tried the product. Get the product in people's hands. Right now is a big time for sampling. Get samples in people's hands. Get people thriving. It's not right now a priority to them. I always talk when I tell people, I always tell them, number one, I'm voice messaging. That's my biggest tip ever. I'm voice messaging and they're hearing me. And I'm telling them, you know, most people, when they ask me about Thrive, I, you know, you've been following me maybe for five days, maybe for five years, but um, they don't truly 
know, I always say this right out loud, you don't truly know until you experience it yourself. Um, get those samples in people's hands, guys, and stay plugged in, stay focused, keep your blinders on, and know, like right now, if you're having a rough month, it's just a rough month or just a rough day. Like, lean into your people, and honestly, that's why I love these so much, because you're going to hear all of these, like, people who have overcame all of these things, right? All of, all of these things, all of these hards, and they keep going, and now look, a year later, two years later, like imagine what your life's going to look like in five years if you just stay focused and know that the bad days get better, the rain passes, the snow goes away. Like I promise you it will get better. Okay. So lean into your people, stay inspired, um, and love on your team always. All right, guys. Have a great night. Thanks for plugging in with us tonight and joining us. Bye, everyone. Thank you all. Bye.